<laughs> hello, hello everyone. The Water Bear is back again here to do a video about the full moon in Aquarius coming up, okay? It's a lunar eclipse coming up. It'll be on August the 7th, okay? Um, first things first, before I get into it, I want to apologize for the videos I made, the August videos. Um, who knows what was going on with my computer and, like, craziness was going on, and the videos came out pretty terrible. Um, honestly, I feel like the information was really good, and so maybe Spirit didn't want you to hear it, and sometimes, you know, there could be some interference going on, but... Who knows what was going on? I'm still trying to work on troubleshooting. And now I'm, I realize also I did have a fan on because it was really hot in my room. And so I'm moving locations now in my apartment. And so hopefully you can hear me way clearer um, now. Okay. Um, so we're going to get on to this full moon going on. Okay. So it's happening August the 7th. It'll be to, to, it's really during the day in America. We don't really get to see it. It's going to be seen on the, um, in the Eastern Hemisphere. Um, but we basically are getting the solar eclipse. So, you know, we each get one, which is pretty cool. Um, and so it's happening August 7th at 2.10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, it's a full moon and it's also a partial lunar eclipse. And we'll get into both of those things. Um, and it will be at 15 degrees Aquarius, okay? Um, and so if you have any planets in Aquarius around 15 degrees, um, especially your sun, moon, or rising, um... It's going to be super powerful for you. Um, also, all air signs as well. And if you have any planets near 15 degrees, so that's like around 4 degrees-ish. So, you know, 13, 12, 11, 16, 17, 18, that kind of range. Um, it's basically in conjunct the full moon, and so you're going to be feeling it um, double. And then even more because this full moon is a lunar eclipse, okay? So that's even more of this, like, energy, yeah. Um, what else did I want to say about that? So the full moon itself is, is just a powerful event. Um, and because it's a lunar eclipse, we'll get to, again, I'm going to talk about both of those, that strengthens it even more. And so if you have planets in this, that strengthens it even more. Okay. So it's like super strong, um, which is amazing. I'm super excited because... Um, basically, all my I have a stellium, a stellium of planets in Aquarius because I'm in Aquarius, so my Sun, Mercury, and Saturn are tightly wrapped in Aquarius. <coughs> Excuse me, between 13 and 19 degrees or 20 degrees. Um, so this is going to be major for me. Interested to see what's going to happen. So as well, if you have any planets in Aquarius, um, let's communicate. I kind of want to see what's happening. I'm really excited because with eclipses, it's more kind of unknown and this full moon's in Aquarius which is the sign of unexpected events and change and transformation anyway so who knows what it's going to be um but I'm excited so just kind of talk about it with me and like let's share it and see what happens um okay so basically let me just describe a full moon and a lunar eclipse really quick I love using the crystals for assistance um so what do we want to use the moon will be this crystal here the sun will be amethyst, and my head of, as always, will be the earth, okay? So, on a full moon, and um, I'll just get the earth out of the way right now. The moon is completely opposite the um, sun, okay? It's always an opposite sign, like a polar opposite sign. Like, right now, we're in Leo season. The opposite sign of Leo is Aquarius, so we have a full moon in Aquarius right now. Um, so, they're opposites right now. And so that's why you can see the moon fully on this side because the sun is op opposing it. So it's shining onto it, you know what I mean? Um, and we can see the bright side, okay? Um, in a lunar eclipse, the earth blocks the light. You see this is the moon? It blocks the light for, for from the sun, okay? For a second, and then we're back. Okay. So, um, you know, in astrology, this is kind of seeing really... In energy, everything is energy. So the, there's energy. It's the moon's receiving the energy of the sun, sun, sun. And then it, like, is a reboot, and then it gets it again, okay? So this period only happens every six months or so. And basically, it's like restarting your Wi-Fi. Like, you know, it, it kind of, like, restarts the, the moon, okay? Um, and the moon represents our emotions, our um, subconscious drives, our shadow side, our... Um, our intuition, um, you know, our, our 
how we react to things, um, that kind of things is are related to the moon, okay? And so what this does is basically it, it like pulls up your shadow energy um, right to this eclipse and it's it kind of clears out your emotional energy from the past six months. So everything, the last eclipse we had was the lunar eclipse in Leo, February the 10th, okay, of 2017. So go back to where you were there. That was the last energy, the last time we had a clearing and that cleared from the past six months before that. And it really did. And like, I really think back to that period and I don't really remember after the lunar eclipse thinking too much about the period before I was thinking about what's happening in the future. So this clearing is going to be clearing a lot of the emotions and all the things that have been happening since February, which is so much stuff. Okay. And so basically that's just kind of like a, like a little redo we're going to get. And this is amazing because we've had so much emotions coming up to be cleared um, and bubbling up and surfacing up for us to re-see and, and heal. And it's hard to continue on <coughs> and manifest and just be in joy and happiness when you're, you have, you're holding on to so much old baggage. And so this is going to be a great time for release of that shadow side stuff. A lot of it came up with this Pluto Capricorn, the full moon in Capricorn that happened. And um, when was that? I think it was July the 10th, I believe. Um, and it so much because it was conjunct Pluto. There was so much darkness in our shadow sides. We had to, you know, come face to face with and heal. And, 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 you know, there was so much we found out about other people. And we've kind of been dealing with that ever since then. Um, this is the next full moon. Um, and so it's definitely going to be a period of just, um, massive realizations, massive culminations, and massive release, okay? Um, I also have, this is a culmination point of things holding us back that they need to be released, okay? So it's also, the South Node is in Aquarius, okay? As the, as North Node's in Leo right now. So the South Node is the things that our souls already understood right now, and we're trying to release as a collective, okay? So the South Node's in Aquarius, meaning Aquarius is a sign of friendship, the sign of the collective, the sign of the, you know, um, the collective thought, you know, thinking. Not really, no, that's kind of more Gemini, but like, it rules friendship, it rules social circles. And, and so basically, Aquarians are always great friends because we know how to be great friends. We can observe a group of people and know what to say in this, you know, in this situation to pet them up. And we know how. You know, we, we can go in between friendships and, and we understand friendships and how those work. Um, and so the downside of that, though, that all Aquarians feel is learning how to discern between yourself and or, or changing to keep the group happy. OK, um, or if the group's doing something, well, I, I want to stay with the group. I, I you know, I growing up, I, I never wanted to stop hanging out with my friends. If they were hanging out and I couldn't go, I was so mad because I, I wanted to be a part of what was going on. Um, and so that's that Aquarian, like, I don't want to do my own thing. It's not necessarily because Aquarians love individuality and doing their own thing, but it's like a, sometimes when there's, you have to t have the courage to stand up and, and when you're the only one having something individual, that's difficult for Aquarians sometimes because we want to, we don't want to rock the boat in that way. We want to make sure everything is kind of even around for everybody. Um, <clears throat> You think friendships, you know, friendships are pretty, they're like equal. Um, and so everything basically that is keeping you from going towards this North Node and Leo, which is standing up for yourself, everything keeping you from standing up for yourself, everything keeping you from standing in your courage, everything keeping you from your confidence. You know, it could even be the things you're mentally telling yourself that's keep, that are keeping you, wow, it's August the 4th and it's 444 right now. Sorry, so, so many fours, that's so cool. Um, it could be keeping you from, you know, anything it's keeping you from, um, um, you know, your body, your, your body type, I was saying, um, what you're saying to yourself is keeping you from, from having a, a good perspective of yourself and enjoying your body and, and manifesting joy in yourself. And, you know, um, and so that's keeping you from that pride you're going to have. That's that Leo energy as well. Creativity, you know what I mean? So judging yourself is, is going to keep you from that creativity as well. And so, there's a lot of things that following the status quo and not doing things because you feel like you're going to be pointed out and picked on. Um, that's what's in the South Node right now. It's the Aquarian vibe. And so 
that's what's being removed. And so we have a full moon, which is the culmination point in the south node. So that basically means these things that we're doing <coughs> that are limiting us from being the fullest Leo we can be are going to be cut out in this full moon lunar eclipse when everything is eclipsed out. Okay, when the sun is, I mean, the moon is kind of rebooted. Um, that's going to be the, the, the switch. It's like a boom, you know what I mean? Um, and so it's a great time, you know what I mean? Honestly, I feel like if you like change, if, if there, there can be things coming up that you might not like um, to leave, but it's for your best interest right now. Like it's, it's literally the, excuse me, the best thing for you right now, okay? And so spirit literally, like it's eclipses, you don't really have much of a choice of it leaving. It's kind of like, if you, you can't really go back to where you were, it puts you in a situation where you have to continue on with whatever the eclipse brings up for you. That's why it's an eclipse. It's a major time, you know? So we're going to be placed in situations where we're going to have to leave these limiting things that are keeping us behind, okay? And keeping us from promoting ourselves in the Leo energy so that we can be prepared and be, once you're, basically once you clear space and new things can come into the space that's now clear. And so we have this clearing happening, this lunar eclipse. And it's also going to be, you know, you're going to get some blessings as well because Jupiter is going to be trying it, but I'll talk about it in a second. <clears throat> clearing is going to happen in this lunar eclipse. And then we're going to have a solar eclipse, which is, you know, kind of not necessarily the opposite, but it's more um, the sun, the energy of light from the sun is is blocked for a second. And then we get relit again. And that, that doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Like the sun is constantly beaming on Earth somewhere until this lunar, this eclipse where the moon goes in front. And so it'll be like a little pause, like a little light shut off, light shut on. And that's a redo of the divine light. Okay, so that's going to be new solar blessings. So that's kind of a different energy there. And we'll get into that when that happens. Um, so yeah, this lunar eclipse is definitely going to be doing a lot. So releasing, and releasing. I think that's going to be the first area about it, the lunar eclipse area. But it's also a full moon in Aquarius. So I think it's going to also be giving us blessings towards, um, you know, Number one, when the intentions we set in the, in the new moon of Leo, July 23rd, um, because that's what full moons are. They, they take the culmination from the new moon, the intentions you set, and you kind of see buds of manifestation in the full moon. So you might be seeing, you know, some, um, like in the new moon, I was thinking about producing myself more and how can I put myself out there more. And literally, I, I just finished my website. And so that's kind of an Aquarius, I mean, Aquarius, that's a full moon kind of culmination right there. Um, and so that's kind of what's going on. We'll have culmination points from this new moon. Also, though, since it's a lunar eclipse, we're culminating from the last lunar eclipse, which was in Leo, um, on February the 10th. So that, that there's culmination points from whatever was going on February 10th. You might be seeing it kind of come to fruition and, and, and an ending point at this full moon. Okay, so that's so much going on astrologically for the full moon. Lastly, I want to talk about Jupiter. Jupiter is going to be doing amazing things with this full moon. That's why it's not going to be ter terribly um, detaching, because that's what Aquarius is. Aquarius is the sign of detachment. It, it, it sees and looks to see in society and in the group, you know, what works and then what doesn't work. And then what doesn't work, they detach it and they cut it off, you know. And so if you know Aquarian, they're good at cutting things off. Um, so this, this full moon is all about that. And so, um, but it's not going to be just detachment. There's going to be blessings in it because Jupiter is going to be trining it, okay? And a trine is when a planet's like supporting another planet. So the full moon is at 15 degrees Aquarius, in, and that's an air sign. Le Jupiter is in Libra, which is another air sign, okay? And so that's at 17 degrees. And so that's only two degrees off, so that's definitely that pair, and that's going to be happening between those two, okay? Which is awesome. Um... And so, yeah, abundance is going to be flowing in and expansion as we are going to be detaching from old things, okay? We're going to be releasing new baggage, and then our hands are going to be free for new things, yeah? So, super great coming in with this little eclipse. Super excited. Um, it is an eclipse, so it's going to be, there's not, it's going to be unexpected, okay? So, just expect the unexpected, literally. Um, it's in Aquarius, so the, the planet that's going to be the most influenced is Uranus, which literally just went retrograde on the 3rd of August. Um, and so, so much is happening, okay? And so just get ready for it. I'm super excited for it. Um, let's chat about it and just see what's going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm just 
I'm just excited just to see what happens. I mean, it's definitely just feel like it's going to be good energy. I think just, I'm feeling every day more positive vibes. Um, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now we're going to be moving into the um, tarot scope, okay? Um, doing a little tarot for um, each sign. And so let's get into that. What's up, Aries? Okay, so here we go. Super excited to start. Um, this is for the lunar eclipse full moon. So I have, I'm just going to be drawing cards. I already have them shuffle for you. Um, and let's just see what we get, okay? So going into the full moon, your energy, you're feeling complete. You're feeling, you know, what well-being. You're feeling like yourself. Um, maybe this Uranus retrograde that just happened in the third took a little stress off of you, a little pressure. Um, it's literally what has been in your sign, pressuring you to move forward and build yourself since it's been here for like three years, I feel like, um, and, and, and you're right, I mean, in Aries, okay, and it's gone retro, it's going to be retrograde until January of 2018, so the pressure's off a little bit, and I feel like now, you know, you kind of have a little bit of a better read at kind of what, um, where you want to go, you know what I mean, and, and, and what you want to do, and I feel like this lunar eclipse is definitely going to help you a lot, um, going into it, you're feeling great, which is great. Number two, what's building up? Okay, so this is kind of the culmination. What's culminating? What's going to be released? Um, what is that build-up period? Okay, I mean, what's being built up? Ten of Pentacles, okay? So this is all about, um, you know, I feel like you, you, you're you getting to see, this is a really positive read. This is amazing. Lots of ten, lots of culmination, lots of, of full circle of things happening. Okay, so this Ten of Pentacles, I definitely feel like you're starting to see everything you need in the material realm come together, okay? This is like a, um, you know, you, you might have had some worries about some financial things not working out or a job situation not working out, but I feel like around this full moon, you're going to have this culmination, this this realization that, oh my God, everything's falling into place, you know what I mean? I have everything I need. I have everything, um, everything is in place for me, okay? Um and what's going to be released is this worry, this fear, this this anxiety that you, you've had, you know, that, that, that you weren't going to meet your needs or things weren't going to work out for you. You're going to be releasing that worry, okay? Or, or literally even finding out, like, I feel like I am, um, have been finding ways to not give my worries as much energy, you know what I mean? Now that I realize that they're not beneficial to me, I can try to lower their energy because I used to give them so much. So it could be even... Not just releasing the worries in general, but you could also be coming up with this in the Aquarius, Uranian kind of aha. It's, it's very um, Uranus and the Aquarius rules, um, you know, instantaneous information and instant downloads. And so you might be getting these downloads, which are healing your, your worry problems and your anxiety problems, okay? Um, and pulling you closer to your fruition and what you're going to want, okay? Advice for this full moon. They're asking you to focus on, yes, these high cards, high energy. Yes, Ace of Pentacles, okay? They're asking you to focus on your career. You're going to get a butt of inspiration with, with your material. You you know, I feel like everything's coming together, right? It's coming together right at the lunar eclipse, and it's going to hell. You know what I mean? you got this, this Ace of Pentacles energy. So they're asking this came reversed as well. And so now I feel like you, you, you are getting away from some choice you have. You know what I mean? I feel like, now things are coming to completion. You were worried about, you know, oh, what, what am I going to do? What choice am I going to make? But now you're going to have this new completion, this new energy coming, and you're going to be able to choose and have a clear view of what you want. You're not going to be trapped anymore. You know what I mean? You're not going to have this kind of, um, this kind of trapped energy. You know what I mean? You're not going to have this, this worry. Literally, these are kind of similar cards right here. Um, these are the cards that I feel like there's in any way. And behind them, you have the sun coming to, to blast them. You know, this was you before, like, oh, my God, blah, blah, blah. now the sun's like, boom. You know what I mean? And now it's like, all is good. Ace of Pentacles energy is hitting the building here. Okay? And you got to also, you have the Ten of Pentacles as well. Okay? Lastly, you're going to go into what is coming in for you with, with this newness. What's going um, That's coming out of this full moon, Okay? Um, you're going to be going away once again. This is about leaving a tough situation, okay? This is, you're the character here. And you're leaving the situation. You're leaving with your wisdom, though. You have your sword still with you, and you're going away to better lands, okay? So that's going to be you. If you've been stressed out, Aries, 
it's going to be things are going to be picking up starting in this winter eclipse. You've been feeling like you've been stranded or or left out in the cold, like no one's around. Help is on the way for you. Um, it also maybe this is your your card here. The Aries, um, the Emperor is Aries. Aries rules the Emperor in Tarot, and so I feel like you're going to be in your energy bag. You're going to be feeling more like yourself, and maybe another Aries is going to be coming to help out, or you're going to just be. You know, someone's going to be coming in with this emperor energy to help you. Okay, the last card I feel is heartbreak is going to be gone for you guys, okay? You're going to be starting fresh is coming in, okay? Last thing that came in, the fool card, completely restarted. And I feel like you as an Aries are, this is you. You know what I mean? You literally have this, you're the first sign. You know what I mean? The zodiac, you're the cardinal sign, the first one that starts spring after you've had this decay in winter. And you are the first one bursting out with ambition. And so there's no more, literally, these are the things that you've been feeling, okay, before this period. These are the things, and this is also what I'm seeing is what's been building up for you, okay? Heartache, stress, feeling left out and cold, trapped, anxious, can't, can't sleep, okay? All of these things are culminating and building up. These are things that have to leave. You can't have these anymore. They're attached to you. Okay, these are the things that the Aquarius full moon's gonna come. Slice out. You're gonna be fresh, the full card. Move into the new things. And you're gonna be back in your emperor boss mode. Okay, that's super exciting. Last thing for Aquarius. I mean I'm sorry for Aries. The rest up they said though. Okay, so this is kind of like um when you get to this, once you get to this new start here. Um, I feel like you're going to be feeling this energy, but keep it internal. Keep it, and this is another thing that there's so much energy with Mars still conjunct the sun and Leo, so much fire energy. And so the lesson has been patience, okay? So this to me is a card of, dude is still alive in here, okay? This is a contemplation, his hands, the mudra here. This is, this is contemplation, okay? So he's chilling, he's ready to be awakened, okay? And then he'll bust through this, is it a mausoleum or whatever this is? bust through this tune and pop off on y'all, okay? And so this is kind of this energy. This is kind of just wait, build your energy, get back to yourself, feel this new you know, this new energy coming in, and then go towards your dreams, okay? Because um, you've been feeling better, guys, um, and this is the goal here. We're coming for this fruition, for this full moon for you guys. So much love, guys. The thing, literally, as I'm closing up the deck, what's in the top? The sun is shining, so... Super excited for you guys. Thank you for the read and keep tuning in.